for the army if he, can, if he gets the soul ring. It, it feels like. It. Looking at the. Uh, I'm actually looking at the Omni Knights build here because I've been playing this Omni Knight for like 50 games in the last month. I've been mm -hmm. changing the item builds a bit here and there, hence why I brought up the, the soul ring idea. Um, you do get good benefit out of the bracers. You are going to be extra tanky. You can tune in with your team early on. If you go for the route that I said myself, uh, that would require you to be farming the most of the time, what? as that's going to be already a first blood po uh, picked up by Ken Level versus Tabanga. Two first Level two, blood? yeah. That's insane. Like, okay, that that never happens. Omni Knight is uh, 13 to the 12 versus the PA bottom lane as well. Big brawl here. Lun is low, 6 HP. Ooh. That's all he needs. Cast away. Low on HP to CDR, looking for the kill on the Rubik. Just needs one more hit. Haas finished off Castaway. Young PH is killed off Ken's Courier. Ken did Good. not actually pick up the wand, so he'll miss out on it. And Lun, Radiance that time dilation does nothing to him. So he's still kiting the faces void, who's missing out on an entire creep wave already. And Haw is here, so space has been created. One of the top lane, KSH, gets a kill off of Bombi. Let's track's favor. I mean, that's level six. They have the hoodwink nearby. This this could be a kill if he uses swashbuckle to like get one creep. Yeah, there we go. This this could be it. Well, swashbuckle's used. That's gonna be the catch. He doesn't have a quelling blade to destroy the tree. And so Ken, he's tanking the tower. Actually, Ken might die oh, first no. here, and he's gone. Young PH lives. Lun coming in for the rescue as well with a two-point fade bolt. Castaway has to rotate in as well to secure the kill on the pango. If he got away. That would have been disastrous, but it, it kind of already is. The Pango lives, the Leshrac dies. Now, this is probably worth like five, six hundred. Oh, baby. And that's a lot of experience with the supports that's stacked as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's almost 500 gold. And now the Ancients on top with that region. As a region, Lovely. man. Oh. The dream. And KSH dies in the top lane. They're fighting at the same time. As Ken's Lips. been farming the Ancients, they're causing havoc here. Rubik dropping down a half. Bombi is also here. Blood Grenade thrown in. And JG, Purification is available. He should get the last hit with it, and he does. Great. They heal the Bombi. He gets the kill with it at the same time. The Shrek is farming so much, and he's going to get a rune as well because the Pango yeah, he got a feels thousand forced gold. to rotate bottom. Got a thousand gold from those stacks. That's a lot of money. Yeah, he only goes him. for the wave when he has the blur, and when he doesn't have it, he's just farming camps really nicely done. They're pinging Haw on the bottom lane. Static Storm and Glimpse is available, just no kinetic field. We'll get the Glimpse, bring him to CDR, Spear onto the Disruptor. He knows he's dead, so he's trying to get a return kill, but JG is also here, and the Blood Grenade onto the Mars. JG will help this CDR Void to pick up the kill, and they're already looking for more here. Bombi. Bushwhack onto the Crystal Maiden. Bango trying to interrupt this Hoodwink. Gets the ulti Hoodwink down to the low ground. Omni Knight chasing the CM. Down a half HP. Has the Phylactery. Gonna keep up the chase. They're gonna bring out Young PH, but it just jumps away. There we go. Chrono. Chrono on top of the Static Storm. Two ultis for the Pangolier. And he is out for the count, but he did finish his Diffusal Blade. Will still chasing for Zarain. KSH goes down to Ken. Solo kill. Oh, so then they had the Diffusal Blade to increase the chances of that play, and now they get him again. Yeah, they just blow up the Pango. No chance of survival. Three seconds for another hammer, Haw. Just gonna have to keep that creep wave behind the tower, but the T1 is history. And the Snowball, if it wasn't already online, now you can really feel it and see it. It's a 7k lead. For Neon Esports, even if it's the Crystal Maiden Ward about to expire, they actually have the Sentry in the low ground, but they won't see the Ward until now. They see that it's just expired, but they catch a, a glimpse of the Rubik here. Do they? Do they, do they not see the Rubik? Now they do. Oh, he didn't go to low ground. Yeah, still gonna get glimpsed back. Still the glimpse, but it's gonna do nothing here. Oh. Yeah, I think he wanted to go up to the low ground with, uh, with that stolen spell, but unfortunately, doesn't actually manage to do so, but they have Blink on Mars. Can they punish Ken? I mean, if the Omni Knight gets the repel off, no way. 
Omni is here with the blink ready. He's just gonna repel him up, and Ken's gonna be fine. Haw is not in a good place. Static Storm onto the Crystal Maiden. Yule's coming out as well. Disruptor will keep Young PH away, and the CM goes down. JG with oh, the Yoti. Guardian Angel as well, so PA will do no damage whatsoever, and PA is gone as well, glimpsing back the Crystal Maiden. Bye bye. And that's gonna leave Rubik and Pango all by themselves. Pango wants this kill on the Disruptor, but here comes the Bushwhack. JJ will bring up the double kill. Yay, did get the better for you, as you said, but still so far away from a BKB from anything. Yeah. And Omni just picked up the shard of the courier now, so he's got Oof. the one shot burst available. They're gonna TP bottom. Chrono's gonna be used. JJ, he walks right next to the Chrono, blinks onto the Mars, throws in his burst, and Hall will disappear from the game. Lun trying to make a run for it, and he's gonna get glimpsed to his death, but Bombi finishes him off, and KSH, he has to bail. Oh, yeah. This is. They're just outplaying here. Young Galacticos, I maybe expected this to be a bit closer, but Neon... Look at Ken. Can he 1v2 this? 1v3 even, because there is a PA in the area. Goes straight for the Crystal Maiden. Catches the stun. CM will go away. Young PH splits out. So does the PA into the enemy jungle. Have this Bloodstone. He can definitely... Like, he can kill the entire team, I think. I don't think they have... They're, the they're gonna poke tier 3, minute 18. This is... This is a stomp. Stolen Edict. Like they could almost even take it as well. There's no cliff. There's no high ground cliff for this. There's an Omni. Like, he doesn't fear the damage. Four seconds, he can get another one. We're gonna try and deal ward, but the they Rubik. find a Rubik. Oh, goodbye, Rubik. <laughs> There's the one shot. With the sharpshooter, they'll get the kill, and here goes your tier 3 tower. Sub 20 minutes, and they're already hitting racks. This is insane. Yeah, this is just how far ahead they are. Yeah, good read as well. They know this PA cannot fight. They're not even close to BKB. You know, if this was a Gyro, if this was a, a Void, there's if, there's like a small chance he can TP in and get a good fight. Not the case here whatsoever. It's, it's... Like, even though it's a recovery item, it actually feels good in the game, right? So it's yeah, not like yeah. you're, you're forcing to this just because it's a cheap thing that you can buy. It, it does make the fights easier. But, Definitely not easy because they're 14k gold behind, but it's a, it's a good purchase for sure. They have the wards, they see the last track, but they don't see the smoke. Omni's right next to him. They're wrapping around, potentially looking for the hoodwink here. PA might join this fight too, but they've all stacked up here at the bottom lane, looking at the tier 2 tower now. Do they have the time, and do they have the angle? Hoodwink, oh, he's walking right into them. The courier reveals his position. Hall will catch him. Static Storm is placed down as well, but the hoodwink, he will survive. Bombi Guardian Angel up as well. He will live. Ken already with a double kill. Young PH diving in for the Bombi kill, and the Chrono Aww. is there. The Faces Void will finish off the Pango here. He's got no way out unless he swashbuckles out. Ken gets a triple for himself. He gets the third kill on Lun. Young PH will drop as well. And KSH, there was not a fight this PA could actually fight in. So four kills for just a Hoodwink. And that's going to mean another lane of Rax is now open for the taking. No vision, they okay. Got a, they, got a, they got a chance. They got a chance. They're still split. You have to not here. Let's oh, not no. here. You gotta get this one to work. The Omni not gonna get jumped. CDR is gonna be there. 20 seconds with the Chrono. But look at the damage. The Mars is already down. Kush, he's trying his hardest here to try and kill them off. Castaway is low. The Bushwhack on the back line. It dismantles the gank attempt. And that's gonna mean Yang on Galacticos. I wouldn't be too surprised if they just tap out after this one because the Pango, he's got no real way to run out of this one. He'll be chased. The Pudwink is right on top of him. Baiting with the Pango illusion. The real Pango is here, but he will drop a dead. GG. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's one of those games where I think Young Galacticos, when they were really far behind, they, did, they made... I don't think it's a hard lane necessarily for the TA. Like. You Plenty of action have been uh, going on today. And now the a game that really packs a punch, considering this is potentially one team's final game of their entire tournament life. And Neon, uh, they win this one, they guarantee a tiebreaker, so they get to play even more group stage games, <laughs> which they're looking forward to. Neon has been uh, definitely a... Oh, never put them as a contender. I'd say them that they were looking as one of the top teams here. Castaway gets a courier snipe here. Bit of a micro fail there for the Darks here as he's uh, going around the trees. The Courier also wants to go around the trees, but uh, not only his Courier, his life is also forfeit. Castaway can he get another Courier kill, not quite on the Tiny there. Killing nobody right now. Yeah. Good sentry there from PH. Gets uh, vision of that sentry on the Dire side. Also knows there's a trap. 
on the high ground, and the rune, unfortunately, is going to be on the bottom. Yay! We'll go for the dire sub. A young PH is trapped here between Ken and Castaway. Castaway might drop to the tiny, but he's going to get tossed away. And Ken, with the traps, going to get the slow onto the tiny. Melt striking him up, and this tiny zero armor, minus seven at the moment. Throws even a blood grenade. That was actually Ken's blood grenade. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of crazy. I thought alone. for a moment, like, wait a minute, he doesn't have a debuff. <laughs> Uh, regardless, though, what a great read from Neon, right? They 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 destroy with the Lashrak first pick, then they give it away, knowing exactly how they want to. Yeah, you get you get buffed for getting the gold when you cast it on a unit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it feels a bit silly. Ken, and they get silenced so, up, and while they use their spells here, the toss into the Inkswell. Rubik might drop, but the Stampede almost enough, but they will lose more heroes for it, and his young PH to fall. Saw Rain trying to slow down the TATA with a trap with a counter slow. Illusion pops so he can dispel himself and they turn things around on the tiny. Bombi fighting it out. KSH coming in as well. So this Batrider will die. A kill for the Slark. Ken was actually moving towards top. Hall will quickly surge away. Gets himself a neutral. Can they kill CDR? He's kind of low. No stick charges. This can be a play. This can be a play indeed. This uh, pounce does connect, and the Inkswell, with the help of the Iron Shell, they've got damage to blow up CDR, so the Bristleback will drop. Good, move. good three man move here, getting the, the Slark online. This low commitment. You oh, might CDR. Be able to some kills. He just TP behind enemy lines here. They are t fully taking control or, over this jungle area. So Rubik will drop. Castaway, not in a good position here. So these are important kills for Yangon. Yeah. Definitely, you know, as you said, he is by himself. Stampede will give him oh. some time. More? Oh, they got the Batrider kill. That was a solo one for young PH. Stampede for nothing. The Shrek has been farming the jungle here. I think that is his... Uh... He actually gave up on the U Scepter, going straight up Kaya. Alright, very bold of him, honestly. Going for the bristle okay. back here. Ink swell. Oh, Centaur no. stun misses, but they will get the follow-up stun. Centaur's coming in as well. Stampede in 20 seconds. Doesn't have it yet. The Soulbind comes out as well. Bristle back will fall. The toss will do the work. Cast away, snipes the support. Here comes Ken though. You haven't seen TA in a while. Ken's been uh, working his way in the jungle, but he has a haste room versus the surge. So uh who's gonna win this 100 meter hurdle? I feel like Ken is the real Usain Bolt here. <laughs> That extra armor definitely making it hard for, uh, you know, I, I guess I actually like this Helm the Dominator now, thinking about it. Like, you get the Inkswell plays, you get the armor against both the Bristleback and the TA. So he, he felt definitely very tanky there. The aura aspect is pretty negligible, to be honest, but uh, he is going for a pipe now. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm reaching out for reasoning here as well, Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, maybe Greaves could have been good. But uh, yeah, very curious to see if he's going to stick to this one as we do see the Slark. Now, if this Diffusal Blade which could be able to maybe connect through the Twin Gate since he's pretty close to it. Stampede is used, fighting in the top area under the tower. CDR is going to get saved. The tower will fall to Young PH. CDR now chasing onto Lun. Looking for the kill on the scrim stroke. So the rest of hiding in the trees, trying to pull the bristle back in as they're setting up a trap. The soulbind comes out though. Castaway is going to go down right away, and they're trapping the Lestrak. Lesh will go down. Meanwhile, Luke is coming from behind. It is Bombi with the Batrider with the lasso. Ken's also TPing in KSH. He needs these kills, but is this Slark left all by himself? He's got no teleport. He's done for. This Slark is dead. Yeah. He actually went through the Twin Gate, so it's just his mistake of not having a TP. Uh -huh. By the way, uh, they did change their mind of the pipe now. I do love the Greaves that uh, Hall is going for. Yeah. Much better already. Yes. We are looking for JG. He has Blink, though. It's on cooldown. They find Lun at the same time. They've spotted the central six seconds for him to get the Stampede off. Pops his Blade Mail. He'll reflect some of that damage back to young PH, and he survives. And now the team can live because he's got the Stampede up. They're going to charge oh, no. right towards Young PH. CDR right on top of him. Very low on HP as well. A couple more spikes will do it, and the lasso will finish him off. Haw is down as well. So is the Lash gone. And Slark disengaging. So another win for Neon. And okay, not too shabby. Slark now very close to his eggs. Would be a bit tankier. But this Lash track, like, I... Not only he got destroyed, I, I just... 
this build that he ended up going for. Low on armor, doesn't have to use. Doesn't, doesn't have to, they, they, they're gonna find Bombi. Soulbind comes out as well. KSH, he's hidden inside the Shadow Dance for the time being. He might find a kill for himself, but will he survive? No, he won't. The lasso is there, and the burst is just too much for the Stark to live with. If he has to force his ulti that early in the fight, He's just set up for uh, all the stuns in the world for Neon to set up for a kill on the Slark. So the hero that needs to be protected ends up being the one dying very early he on. Got a the... good 5 versus 5. He should probably have a slight advantage. It's just that they've been outmaneuvered around the map and they're always waiting for this next timing on the Lash. But he's just too poor. Oh, they spot the Tiny. Ken was just farming caps and is like, oh, there's a Tiny over here. Let's go in. Cast away. Gets the four staff to safety here. Pounce is still available for KSH. And he'll oh, pop it, but now on cooldown for a couple seconds, he's gonna get isolated. Haw gonna be helping him out as well, but the Tiny's gonna get jumped up by JJ at the same time. Loon's gonna be falling to CDR, and they're gonna be taking the Tiny as well. There's a soul bind. It's just too late because nobody's there anymore. They're crumbling. That's like getting chased you're... by Slark, but he also blinks away too. So another miss from KSH. But yeah, yeah, I agree with you. They are crumbling here. Okay, they're gonna try and connect here. Ken is not there. Not a terrible fight knowing Stampede is on cooldown. It is also nighttime. They have the advantage. Another miss bounce. Trying to go on to oh. cast away here, but CDR, he misses the shotgun combo. While the Centaur dropping down a half HP, but has Blade Mail available again if he can just get to use it here. Doesn't really Stolen seem to find all. the opportunity for it. Slark is also super cautious of his positioning. Toss does a bit of damage, but not enough. The Lasso breaks with the Dark Pack. TA going to be chasing as well. Lun will fall. Zorain teleports away. Slark trying to make a run for it. Trapped there for the Silence and the Slow. Hawk giving the Surge. Run, boy, run! As Bombi still chasing with the Blink available under the tower. Here comes Young PH. And it's like, oh, hell no. Not here. I'm too deep. Can anybody save me? Castaway coming in as well. The Flame Break connects. Maybe they can kill the Lesh who just respawn. Ken looking for the kill and he'll take it. Lesh got back into action and dies. Now KSH versus the TAT. Gonna be low on HP. Ken gonna get the four staff safe from Castaway. And the tiny drops and KSH has to bounce out. Their tournament life is on the line here. They, they lose this game. They're completely out. Neon then gets to play a tiebreaker for maybe even, uh, maybe even to improve their standings towards the playoffs because they win this game. And if they win the tiebreaker after, they guarantee 5k and some tournament points. ASH jumping the back line onto the Batrider. Already forcing out his Shadow Dance. Has the Depth Shroud, though. They've already lost the Tiny. Lasso comes out yes. on the back line. They caught the Lash. Oh, young PH. Nothing he can do. CDR is causing all the attraction and all the attention. And there goes your Grim. That's three heroes out of the game. Tier 2 tower open for the taking and finding the Slark too. Death Shroud's still there. Wall comes out too. He'll hide for the time being. It's a lot of damage. Amplified damage Ward? still says double oh. damage in the bottle, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's Unplayable. <still> there. <laughs> Unplayable. It's still there. Rune double damage. Wait, oh, okay, SHC fall as fell asleep for a second. He got the dark packed off, but he's forced into this fight. Shadow Dance is already on Silence. cooldown, and he's silenced from the trap. He won't be able to do anything here. Sark is out. He's gone for 50 seconds without the buyback. Tiny will fall as well, and this TA hits for 550 damage. Oh One shot crit. Good night, Grimstroke. And good night, Yangles Galacticals, by the look of it, as well as Neon is running them over. And indeed, at the end, the light at the end of the tunnel, that is a big freight train, and that is called Neon Esports. Very, very impressive. A very dominant performance here from Neon coming into this series, knowing what's at stake and really playing to the expectations. They're trying to fight the TA, but Ken has been uncontested this game. KSH is just running to his death, but he's trying to cause something. It's a desperation play. It doesn't work out. He placed this, places down the strip, the dip shroud, but uh, his teammates are dying. Tiny's buying back. Haw is getting sliced down by Ken. Ken focusing on the next target. That's the Tiny. He's also dropping, and that will be more and more buybacks forced in, but nobody is dying on the side of Neon. Young PH on the runaway. JG coming in with a stun to follow up on the Grim Stroke as Haw. He'll be sliced as well. Ken continues to murder. Ultra kill. Give him the rampage. He's earned it at this point. 
They're going to get tossed into the low ground, and maybe this will slice it. Nope. Ooh. One hit almost did enough, but Ken actually dies for the first time this game. His rampage denied at 21 10. 21 1 10 TA. He will not get to finish the game with a clean sheet. All right, Lestrak is suddenly a hero again. He gets 2,000 gold for free, but uh, don't think he's going to be able to find Rubik there. Cast away. Should be yeah, okay. All the way to the level other side of the map, though. I won't walk into the pit. Win probability is 1%. It was actually 100 to 0 already with that high ground push, but uh, with Leshrac oh, turning things around, the there's H. a chance. But looking at Leshrac right now, he's baited them all in. Bombi goes down. Ken has to run away for the first time. It feels like forever. Ken's being chased. He needs some backup. The BKB is running its course, and he's got his blink available. KSH gets the bounce connection. Can they get anything to lift there from Castaway? Still on the chase. JG interrupting the back line. Ken, does he finally get to turn things around? Gets tossed into the air. Glamour Cape safe coming out as well. Fighting for his life. Ken with the unbelievable escape. And now can they finally turn things around? KSH, he's being slowed by traps. Ken knows exactly who to watch out for. And they're fighting the tiny CDR, finally getting to show what this Bristleback is truly made of. And two kills go their way. The tiny is gone for 40 seconds. And is this the go time? Is this the time that they can go for either the Megas? They're thinking about it. They can't really end the game, can they? So they're thinking about that. They silence the left track here. Bristleback charges straight to him. Ken with the big hits. Young PH turns around with the Bloodstone. The heals comes out. The vibe coming coming out as well. Maybe they can get enough damage. Delta the Stark is low. Ken's gonna get pushed around again. They use the shroud. They use the uh, the dark. Hand. I mean the shadow dance. And young PH goes all the way back to the fountain for some protection as Lun he bought back and he has died. Neon once again. In the driver's seat, but what a chase this has been. Yangon Galacticos fighting tooth and neck, wanting to finish off Ken here. Stampy coming off cooldown once again. Lestrax about to die. 200 HP, Bloodstone on cooldown. Won't get to use it, but Ken's down. They can get something, but Sark's still gonna fall. He will buy back and return to the game. Into the defense, the range racks will hold. Neon keep the base intact for the time being. It's not over yet, Bowie. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that chase took forever where they were trying yeah. to get to the TA. It's always so close, but still too far away. And you could you could sense the frustration. But is this oh. going to be the end of the game here? With the Grim Stroke just gone, 40 seconds, he'll be back up. Lasso onto the Tiny, the big playmaker out. But the back Vacuum. wall is a big one here. And PH gets to play a bit here. But is this Slash going to do any real damage? The Hurricane Pike is there. He is out for the count. Has a buyback, but his teammates are dying. Normal punch comes out. Bombi will die. Here comes some of the instant buyback. Teleports back to the lane. KSH is being chased by JG and CDR. And the Sark is low. Almost done for. Castaway can he get close enough trying to teleport to the tower. The Sark's just juking around in the trees. And they finally finish him off. That's the team wipe. And that should be the game. It has yeah, taken a while for Neon Esports, but it looks like now they finally the done track. it. Has one armor item, minute 34, didn't actually get that Ghost Scepter. I guess he has a Cloak of Flame, so that's two armor items, just... Oh, good toss back here in the Fountain, that's gonna be a bad rider kill. Okay, that's Not a dieback. He's gone for 100 seconds. Girl. Still focusing on the Tier 4s here, Glyph will be used. Young BH only gets the full prop, but the Bloodstone is healing him, but for how long? Ghost Scepter keeps him alive. Another toss coming in for the Tiny Stampy. It's going to be there as well. He's still dealing damage. He's still regenerating and regenerating quite a lot because CDR is low. Ken is also low. And they finally got him out of the way. But the Slark's gone for 40 seconds. And it's just the supports remaining. I don't think they have enough. I don't think they have enough with Zorain and Lun. It'll have to be a miracle. Lesh out. Darkseer is back alive. They are taking it cautiously, but they're protecting their TA, the big damage dealer, surrounded by the split earth shards. Stolen by the Rubik. There goes the tiny. An attempt was made, but it looks like it's going to be finally the end of the road. GG is called, and this series and this group A also comes to an end. Neon will push towards that tiebreaker position. Mm -hmm. Not only they qualify, they are now fighting for first place in amazing style. I really want to watch that tiebreaker.